We're looking at the grade book of a course. And you can see that right now students' grades, their overall grade, which includes in this example uh, quarters one and two, um, is displayed in a column. And quarter two is displayed in a column. That's the current quarter as of the making of this video. And the grades are just shown as a percentage. However, if you need to move um, or type in some grades into another system, such as um, Infinite Campus, this doesn't help you very much. I mean, you could convert them to a letter grade in your head, but it's a lot easier just to have the letter grade showing up with the percentage. So let's look at how to do that. If you go to Grade Setup, which is right under Gradebook there, right here you have what's called a scale. Now, right now the default is numeric, and numeric is just the percentages. If I click that drop-down arrow, I'll see other scales I have. Now, by default, there's one that's called A plus and minus, and that's um, what some would consider a standard scale, where 90 up to 100% is an A, and there's A minuses and pluses there, and you know, 80 up to the bottom of 90% is a B, and so on. So let's look at that. I'll also show you at the end of this video, if you want to create your own custom grading scale, where you can do that. We'll go ahead and save the changes here. And then we'll go to the gradebook and we'll take a look at how that displays for you. So gradebook link right there. Okay. As you look, you can see that overall grade, which is going to be a semester grade in this case, quarters one and two is there. Um, quarter two grade is also displayed as that's the current one as the making of the video. And you can see the letter grades and you can see the percentages. Let's go back to grade setup quickly here. Just to show you where you could create a custom one because maybe that one doesn't work for you. In fact, we'll look at that one. If you go up to the upper right, that's where the scales and rubrics are kept. If I click on that, you can see what the default A plus and minus scale looks like. And this may not be for you, but it might work for you. If you want to add one, Click Add in the upper right and choose a scale. So it's going to ask you a number of things. What do you want to call it? And then you have to make sure you include every percentage from 0 up to 100%. And so in this example, if we were going to do an IB grading scale, um, you could start with your A and maybe you say, oh, I think 82% up to 100% uh, is going to be an A. Um, and so uh, you can go on. And there's some fancier um, options in there too, but that's not the purpose of this video. So at any rate, um, you can create your own custom scales if you'd like.